Can't see right from wrong. I didn't think you'd be up yet. Sit down, I'll make you a coffee. No, I need to find Jeremy, sort things out. You still haven't spoken to him? No, he's not answering his phone. Don't even know if he came back last night. Yeah, well, he's not going to have gone without you, is he? Yeah, what if he has? You said he looked upset. Yeah, but Jenny would have calmed down by now. Then why hasn't he called? He was supposed to be leaving for Cornwall today. But you two are made for each other, yes? You're going to sort things out. How? If I don't even know where he is. Is she dead? Jamie, it's me. Will you please just pick up or call me back? We, we can't leave it like this. We need to sort things out, please. Jenny? I'll be at work if you need me, right? But don't you dare go without saying goodbye. We're trying to ring you. I thought you might have gone. No, they did. Just spent the night in a lay-by figuring out what to do. Um, I know things got messy last night. I swear nothing happened. Well, apart from Viv throwing my dad out. Well, you know what they're like. They're always splitting up and getting back together, well, aren't they? I think it's uh, different this time. For them, maybe. But, you know, we've, we've been through this. You know I want to be with you more than anything. You'll get married. Maybe have a few kids one day. Watch you taking them surfing while I make a picnic on the beach. <laughs> it's more likely the way around. <laughs> that is all that matters to you. Can we... Can we not just forget everything else and, and set off like we planned? I need to um, sort things out with my dad and Viv first. Oh, yeah. Well, can we. can we go after? Yeah. We'll be waiting then. I've got no idea how much I love you. And I don't think you have for a long time. clear out or you've made things up with Jamie. Yeah, we're going to give it a try. <laughs> oh, Jenny, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh. Oh. Finally got rid of me then. Well, it might take a few weeks to get rid of this lot, mate. <laughs> Came to see if you were still sloping off. As you hadn't bothered coming and telling me yourself. Well, I thought you'd still be at work. Yeah, well, I was till Bob showed up. Are they all right? What do you think? You slept with her husband, how could she possibly be all right? It only happened once. Oh, that doesn't make it all right! Yeah, I know, I know. Then how could you? You can't always help the way you feel. I mean, you had a crush on him yourself once, remember? Yeah, I've been there. And you were the one who told me it was wrong. I suppose that's so you could have him to yourself. You know, I never do that. I never thought you'd have an affair with a married man. I thought I loved him, Mum. I know that sounds stupid now, but... And I wish that I could change things, but I can't. And all I can do is try and start again somewhere else. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Oh, Mum, I, I might not see you again for ages. I don't want to leave it like this. You're my daughter, and I'll always love you. 
But right now, I can't even look at you without feeling ashamed. He's just nervous. He thinks they might have read about him in the papers, but which I hope is wrong. Mm. Chat. Hiya. I'd love to stop and chat, but I'm on a warning again. Oh, well, I'll walk up with you. I need to ask for my old job back here. Oh, Ben. He did seem genuine. He really wanted to fight for us. Well, there you are. Worth giving it a second chance, surely. Second? Me You to enjoying that? No, yeah, well, passes the time. <sighs> How is she? Well, that's our second tour. I might be in bits, but I'm not deaf. I'm just worried about you. <sighs> There's no need. Just got to move on, that's all. It's all over with me and Jamie. Everyone in the village hates me. Still, at least I've got my brilliant job back here. Yeah, well, it's one up on me, love. Is she in? Yeah, but, um... Uh, I'm not sure this is a good time. No, it's... it's... OK, it's fine. Should we go to the calf? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. I, um... I know it won't mean anything to you right now, but I... I'm sorry. Spare me your apologies. I'm only here because I want to get something clear in my head. Tell me how you ended up in bed with my husband. I swear neither of us meant for it to happen. Of course you didn't. It's true. I mean, it, it nearly happened once before. We'd, we'd kissed. And oh, yeah. We, it was just a moment. It's that party that we'd been to. So this isn't the one-off you both say it is? Viv, you have to understand how low we both were. And Bob, he was really strong. He he said that nothing could happen between us, that he loved you and, and that we should, you know, try and put it behind us. And, and we did. We, we did. Sort of. I was even going to move out. And things just... Things just kept happening, you know, putting us together and... Well, then he got your letter. Go on. Well, he was convinced that you were going to divorce him. And I was... I was pretty low too, as it goes, you know, some... some romantic problems of my own and... I suppose we just reached out to each other. Oh, and this is supposed to make me feel better, it's is it? just how it was. Yeah. Edited version. I know what you really like. Meaning what? Meaning I can see right through you. Just because your love life is always a disaster and you can't end up with anyone, you pick on a married man going through a hard time. Well, that's not true. Yes, it is. Bob was an easy target. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't have been if you hadn't cut off all contact. That poor man would do anything for you and you didn't even have the decency to let him visit. No, 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 no. It always had to be about you, didn't it? As usual. Never mind what he wanted or needed. Or your kids, for that matter. I mean, it's... Oh. How dare you turn this round on me? Don't you think I was lonely in prison? And then when I got out, I tried to make everything fit, like it was before, but it never did. I couldn't make it fit. And why? Because you couldn't keep your grubby little bits of him. Flaming lucky I didn't know about that when I saw her. Well, she was just angry. Yeah? I'd have given her so much to be angry about. Any love? Who she could talk? She had it away with that limo driving. Yeah. Right, let's have no more of that talk at this table. Yeah, Sammy's right, though. You'd be amazed how many people let each other down, including members of your own family. Right, that is it. That is enough. Either way, are, Jenny. We're on your side, don't fret. Yeah, I told you. Told him what? He thought he was going to be the centre of attention. Yeah, and I wasn't until you said that. Thanks, Paddy. 
I'm sure you'll be all right, love. After you were so brave in court, I'm sure you can manage this. Ah, be a doddle. Hey, next time I'm in the dock, I'm going to tell them I'm a Nancy and all. You what? Dad! Well, I was just saying, all them judges are public school boys. That's how he got away so late, innit? And you wonder why I don't want him here? Sorry. How's it going then, your first day back? Oh, it's... No, it's better than queuing up at the job centre, eh? <laughs> I just keep hearing seagulls and thinking about new key. Oh, you'd have hated it. You'd have spent every day gulping at fit surfers. You'd have soon got fed up. It's not the surfers I'd be gulping at, is it? No. I reckon we're both mum. Life would be so much simpler without fellas. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. I've got Carl, eh? Yeah, and he's doing me, Eden. With his heels sulking. Yeah, he won't admit it, but I think it's Aaron. I thought he'd started to kind of accept it, but, oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it's bad enough listening to Shadrach going on. I know, I could have throttled him. Aaron's his grandson, you think he a bit of sympathy? Oh, families, eh? Uh, you talking about me? <sighs> no, he's just being nosy. Paranoid or what? Yeah. yeah, well, I know. You've got more important things to think about than work. Oh, I. Yeah. Want to see a smooth talker in action? Well, then look at no further than Nikhil Sharma, live in the pub today. Well, who's the victim? The poor, unsuspecting barmaid. <laughs> <laughs> I've got phone calls to make. You're not backing out now. Nikhil. You can't miss that, can you? Anyway, anything's got to be better than stuffing your face full of sweets. Don't worry about Viv. I'll see to her. I want to work with you. You've come to buy your old man a drink, eh? No, you're getting out from me until you tell me what you got against our Aaron. Don't look at me. Good now against him, I've told you. Then what was last night about? Oh, will he stop pestering me? Oh, you're my dad, he's my son. I'm not going to give up until you give me a straight answer. All right, then. He's one of us, he's not one of them. That's why I can't get my head round. Oh, so he's supposed to be a proper bloke, is he like you? <laughs> well, I like a drink, but I've never fancied a fella. Anyway, he wasn't that long ago, he's giving that Ollie one. Finally! You admit it, you can't stand the fact that he's gay! I just don't understand, it's not the same. Well, you better get used to it, Dad, cos he ain't gonna change. <laughs> Two pound forty, please, guys. Thanks. Oh, cheers, Katie. I'll have half lunch, please. Jenny, will you stop being so twitchy? Katie's offering to buy you a drink. Oh, um, G and T double. <coughs> uh, what do you think I am? A local successful businesswoman who's got now better to spend her money on. Hmm? Oh, thanks for reminding me, Chaz. Well, she did say you were successful. Hey, and you might want to pour yourself some at Bubble. You're in for a right treat this dinner time. What are you on about? But I can't tell you, can I? Because then it won't be a surprise. Oh, it's not fair. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm? I'm going to go, I think. You've only just got here? Yeah, I know. You might as well tell him. You told me. I'm, I'm trying to avoid Viv. Yeah, that's what's new. I didn't do anything wrong. Not this time, anyway. We were just talking. What, you and Bob? Oh, I really woke up this morning and I just wanted to pack a bag and never come back. Oh, well, it's not a bad idea. What do you reckon, Layla? Well, I've always fancied the Cotswolds, May. I like the sound of the name. Mm. I wouldn't bother. It's full of toffs in tweed. Rich? Yeah, and thick, mostly. Oh, Jenny, it sounds right up your street. <laughs> right, go on. Tell us the goss. Nikhil fancies May's hair, and Jay was telling him to go for it, wasn't he? Huh? Yeah, I don't think he's her type, though. Well, he can't be worse than the deadbeat she usually goes for. Excuse me, that's my brother you're talking about. Yes, and my ex. Yeah, and? Fair enough. Yes, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, I think he's quite fit, and if she don't want him, maybe she'll give him to you. Oh. What is this? Make Katie put her head in an oven date? No, that's Jenna. Sure. Hey, up. <sighs> what can I get you? Usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. There we go. Two steak pie and chips. That should keep you going as you're tramping across them muddy fields and you fetch your little wellies. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. 
Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm doing the calls on her. You're not in mm. surgery. Yes. Wrestling, slavering hounds, itching to bite me. And that's just the farmer. <laughs> hey, and who can bl blame them? Oh, saucy. What's that? Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, that's Ratatouille. Um, I've, I've done it a bit differently. I thought you might like to try it. Love to. And what about me? Rona's got a more discerning palate than you. Yeah, she's got more chips than me and all. <gasps> Mon plaisir. <clears throat> Don't even think about it. Yeah, I think so. Still going for this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> I'm surprised you dare show your face. Um, it was my idea. She didn't want to come, but I thought it'd cheer her up. She doesn't deserve cheering up, not after what she did. But she said she's sorry. Because of what happened yesterday, Bibbs decided she wants a divorce. She can't have done. I've never seen her so angry. And I can't say I blame her. Nothing happened yesterday. Uh, except Viv slapped Jenny. She had no right. Yeah, well, I'm not happy about that. But if you'd stayed away, she'd have had no reason. Well, I bumped into him. What was I supposed to do? Ignore him? Yes, that's exactly what you should do. Cross the road to avoid him. 